hello and welcome to this new tutorial in this tutorial we shall talk about the concept of nation aap sabka swagat hai is nayi tutorial mein aur aaj ke is tutorial mein hum log samjhenge the concept of nation matlab rashtra ya fir qaum ya fir usko hum country kahenge to fir chaliye shuru karte hain the concept of nation well nation are complex phenomena that are shaped by collection of cultural political and psychological factors so in one line if we understand what is nation then nation are supposed to be a complex phenomena because this concept of a nation is shaped by collection of cultural political and psychological factors in any nation if you want to study the concept of nationalism or the concept of a nation anywhere in the world then you will find the various factors from cultural perspective political perspective and psychological perspective affecting the very notion or a phenomena of a nation and therefore we have seen various aspects of nationalism from a cultural perspective to a political perspective as well as from psychological factors and therefore nation in a simple words are a complex phenomena that are shaped by a collection of a culture political and psychological factor jab hum nation ki baat karte hain to nation ek aisa concept hai ek aisa complex phenomena hai jisko culture political aur psychological factors ne milakar usko shaped kiya hai isliye har ek jo desh rehta hai har ek jo rashtra hai ya fir har ek jo qaum hai इसमें आपको ये कल्चरल एलिमेंट भी मिलेगा पॉलिटिकल एलिमेंट भी मिलेगा और साइकोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स भी मिलेगा ये सारी चीज़ें मिलाकर एक नेशन बनता है या फिर इन सारी चीज़ों से मिलकर एक नेशनलिज्म को आगे हम देख सकते हैं और इसीलिए राष्ट्र एक कॉम्प्लेक्स फिनोमिना है दैट आर शेप्ड by collection of various cultural aspects of it political aspects of it as well as psychological factor moving forward let us take first cultural aspects of nation well culturally a nation is a group of people bound together by a common language religion history and traditions although nations exhibit various levels of cultural heterogeneity well when we talk about nation and that too from a culturally perspective then under culturally perspective of nation a nation is a group of a people which are bound together by having a common language for example if we look at into a european union or if we look at into western european continent then all those small small nations the identity of all those small small nations are on the language which they are speaking example people who spoke spanish became spain people who spoke portuguese became portugal people who spoke french as a language became france english obviously england german obviously germany and many more so in western europe we can see that the nation is a group of a people which is bound together because of the common language similarly religion religion also is another factor which can bind people together and we have an example of 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 our very own neighbor pakistan which was created entirely in the name of religion then we have a history and traditions so history and tradition i think we have our own country india which has a long history and which has a long traditions which has brought together millions of people under the common idea of india and therefore these are the some of the factors within the cultural aspects of nationalism which can bind people together and make one nation out of it jab hum culturally nationalism ki baat karte hain to yahan par factors hai jaise common bhashaye religion hota hai ya fir history and traditions hota hai 
द वे आई हैव गिवन द एग्जाम्पल जस्ट नाउ अगर हम वेस्टर्न यूरोप की बात करते हैं तो वहाँ पर जो लैंग्वेज है प्लेड अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इसलिए जो छोटे छोटे देश बने वेस्टर्न यूरोप में वो अपने आप को अपने लैंग्वेज से लिंक करते हैं जैसे मैंने कहा पोर्चुगल में आप देख लो वहाँ पर सिर्फ पोर्चुगीज लैंग्वेज बोली जाती है फ्रांस में आप देख लो फ्रेंच लैंग्वेज बोली जाती है जर्मनी ले लो या फिर स्पेन ले लो या फिर कौन सा भी दूसरा जो देश ले लो आप यूरोप में जहाँ पर भी उनकी भाषा बोली जाती है वहाँ पर उन्होंने अपना एक नेशनलिज्म को तैयार किया है सो so, सिमिलरली अगर हम रिलीजन की बात करेंगे तो हमारा सबसे अच्छा पड़ोसी पाकिस्तान उसको तो लैंग उसको तो रिलीजन के ऊपर ही बना दिया था तो इसीलिए रिलीजन एक बाइंडिंग फैक्टर हुआ उनके बीच में टू यूनाइट पीपल टुगेदर कल्चरली अगर हम हिस्ट्री और ट्रेडिशंस देखेंगे तो अमूमन हमें बहुत से देश नज़र आते हैं जो हिस्टोरिकली और ट्रेडिशंस के वजह से एक साथ आ गए और सिमिलरली हमारा जो भारत देश है वही इसका एक एग्ज़ाम्पल है कि हमारे जो हिस्ट्री है हमारा जो इतिहास है हमारी जो ट्रेडिशंस है हज़ारों साल पुरानी हैज़ कैप्ट ऑल दिस पीपल टूगेदर कल्चरली अंडर वन अम्ब्रेला एंड देफ कल्चरल नेशनलिज्म एक डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट है एक डिफरेंट फिनोमिना है मूविंग ऑन टू दी पॉलिटिकल नेशनलिज्म देन पॉलिटिकली अ नेशन इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ अ पीपल हु रिगार्ड्स दमसेल्व एज अ नेचुरल पॉलिटिकल कम्युनिटी ऑल दो दिस इज क्लासिकली एक्सप्रेस्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ डिज़ायर टू एस्टाब्लिश और मेनटेन स्टेट हुड इट कैन ऑल्सो टेक द फॉर्म ऑफ सिविल कॉन्शियसनेस वेल when we talk about political nationalism or politically another factor for a nation as a complex phenomena then it is very simple to understand here that politically a nation is a group of a people who regard themselves as a natural political community and under this natural political community irrespective of which language you speak which respective which religion you practice or whatever kind of history or traditions you may have here you are talking about a group of a people who are united because of the need of a politics and therefore it can be also said that people are bound together because of natural feeling or a commitment being a part of that political community and again i am giving example india india can fit in any part of me example because when britishers came in india when they colonized entire india that was a time when a great leader they understood the cultural part of it but now they also have realized that until unless politically we are united we cannot get our independence from britishers and therefore millions and thousands of politicians of that point of time i would call them as a freedom fighters they mobilize millions of people under the belief of which the culture played a very important role language played a very important role and so does religion history and traditions but here it was more about feeling together as a common political community and because of this we stood all together with all our differences and got our freedom from british so therefore politically a nation is a group of a people who regard themselves as a natural political community jab hum politically dekhte hain ek nation ko to ye yahi kehta hai ki a nation is a group of a people jo ek dusre ko ek saath एक पॉलिटिकल कम्युनिटी के अंदर देखता है यस कॉमन भाषाएं, रिलीजन हिस्ट्री ट्रेडिशंस बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट हैं लेकिन पॉलिटिकली ये सारे चीज़ें सेकेंडरी हो जाती हैं और जो पॉलिटिकल कम्युनिटी कम्युनिटी जो बनती है एक साथ ये बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है और ये हमने देखा है हमारे फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल में येस वी हैड ऑल दोज डिफ्रेंसिस विच आई जस्ट स्पोक अबाउट लेकिन हमारे जो लीडरान थे हज़ारों जो फ्रीडम फाइटर्स थे इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ विच कास्ट कलर क्रीड जेंडर ट्रेडिशंस और पार्ट ऑफ हिस्ट्री दे में बिलोंग टू 
but they all came together under one banner to represent India और भारत को आज़ादी देने के लिए उन्होंने पॉलिटिक्स का ही सहारा लिया इसलिए पॉलिटिकली हम लोग एक साथ आ गए और ब्रिटिश सरकार से लड़े तभी जाके हमें हमारी आज़ादी मिली और इसीलिए पॉलिटिकली अगर हम देखेंगे एक नेशन को तो ये हमें दर्शाता है कि सारे लोग एक साथ मिलकर एक नेचुरल स्टेक होल्डर बनते हैं थ्रू पॉलिटिकल कम्यूनिटी एंड रिप्रजेंट दैट कंट्री एज अ नेशन एंड द लास्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर एज फार एज नेशन इज कंसर्न वी है साइकोलॉजिकल सो साइकोलॉजिकली अ नेशन इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ अ पीपल डिस्टिंग्विश्ड बाय अ शेयर लॉयल्टी और अफेक्शन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पेट्रियोटिज्म एंड दिस इज अनादर क्लासिकल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एनी फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल ऑफ एनी वेर इन द वर्ल्ड Until unless psychologically, if you are not connected to the land, psychologically if you are not sharing that loyalty and affection, obviously in the form of a patriotism, then no nation can be built. And therefore, psychologically, a nation is a group of a people who distinguish themselves by shared loyalty and affection in the form of patriotism. we must believe in ourselves we must believe in that shared loyalty which we have to this land we must have that affection and this affection has to be seen in the form of patriotism and therefore it is psychological connect to the land which we are living today makes us a part of this group or makes us part of this land whom we called our country and therefore psychological affection psychological distinguished therefore psychologically a nation is a group of a people distinguished by a shared loyalty or affection in the form of patriotism irrespective of which political party you belongs to it is pure irrespective of which language religion history or a traditions you belong to what is more important is that you have taken a birth in this country and psychologically you are connected to your country and therefore these are the three different factors which help us to understand a complex phenomena called nation so this is it so this is all about the concept of nation i hope you have understood the concept of nation thank you very much for watching this tutorial i will see you soon in next tutorial till then take care